Huh, maybe she thought she'd come and help us sad little law students. It's up there, huh? Something like that. Okay. Need to get used to the camera being in boxes. <laughs> In all directions, this is uh, gonna get difficult. Uh, I'll get used to it. It does help that all the enemies are too scared to fight me, so I have plenty of time to take it up. Do you hear that? Someone's fighting up ahead. Come on! Uh, Rain! Wait for me! Something. Judging by that display, I don't think he needs any help from us. I take it that's another school of Imperial swordsmanship? Right. That's court fencing, an agile style favored by the nobility. And judging by his poise, he's no amateur. Did you need something? <sighs> Sorry, I was just admiring your swordsmanship. I'm Reen Schwarzer. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself earlier. I I'm Elliot Craig. Guy Schwarzel, nice to meet you. I believe I have already introduced myself, but once again, I'm Yusis Alborea. And I have to say, I didn't think you had it in you. I'm impressed. What are you talking about? After all that bluster about finding your way to the exit alone, I wasn't expecting you to actually rely on others for help. I assume you came to your senses shortly after you stormed off, and then wandered back to apologize like a good boy. Truly, the virtue of the common man. Why, a preening noble such as myself would be far too proud to do such a thing. What the hell is your problem? You nobles really are all the same. So full of yourselves, it's a wonder you don't pop. And you're not just a garden variety noble either. House Alborea is one of the highest ranking in the country. I'll bet you just love looking down on us less fortunate souls, don't you? <laughs> you're one to talk. I don't need a lecture in rank from the son of the Imperial Governor. Wait, what? Oh, I thought the name Regnitz sounded familiar. Karl Regnitz, the first commoner ever to hold the seat of Imperial Governor in Heimdall. The first to rule the capital. And this headstrong young lad just so happens to be a chip off that old block. Pretty rarefied air for a simple commoner, don't you think? What does that have to do with anything? Yes, my father is the Imperial Governor, but he earned that position through years of hard, honest work. Don't you go lumping him in with you nepotists who get your titles handed to you just for being born. Perish the thought. No, I mainly just regard your father as a reformist and a close friend of the Chancellor at that. <sighs> and as you're vividly aware, his faction is in conflict with the noble faction, led by none other than the four great houses. When you look at it that way, your vitriolic disdain for the nobility suddenly seems rather Cheap, wouldn't you say? You son of a... Magius, don't do... Oh yeah, I forgot about these. Ah, uh, ah, uh, either way I'm pissing someone off. Magius, you dumb shit, don't do this. No. God. I know he's taunting you, but lashing out at him isn't going to solve anything. And you, sis, don't you think that was a little uncalled for? I wasn't the one who started this. Let me... Damn it, just let me go already! I'm sorry, okay? Just... Leave me alone for a while. You guys should just go on ahead with him. Oh. I think you went a little too far, Yusis. 
Being at odds with Machias is one thing, but dragging his father into it is pretty low. You're better than that. <sighs> Perhaps I was a bit out of line. It would seem I still have much to learn. Huh? You look shocked. Why? W well you're the son of Duke Elberea, right? I wasn't expecting the son of a noble to admit he was ro- Ah! Uh, wait, no, that came out wrong. I'm, I'm sorry. <sighs> There's no need to address me so formally. We may come from different social spheres, but here at this academy, we're supposed to be on equal standing. Or so the idea goes, anyway. Y yeah, that's true. I, I mean, yes, I'm with you all the way there. <sighs> Is class really that big a deal here in the Empire? It is. This country has a long history, and the class system has been one of its central institutions for most of that. So what are you going to do, Yusis? Maki is said to go with you, but I don't want to press you into coming along if you don't want to. I was intending to press on to the exit by myself, but I'd prefer not to mimic the actions of his ilk, so I'll accompany you. Wh what I'm just surprised we're worthy of your company. Uh, I mean, I'm looking forward to having you on the team. Let's just go with that. We should get moving then. Come on. Machias has left the party. Jul... Yusus has joined the party. Get my jade names mixed up. I almost called him Julius. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh... Forgot those choices. Those are a thing. <laughs> Losing. I don't know how to break the ice. <laughs> eh, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Oops. Although I'm stopping Machias. Well, it was necessary. Telling Julius is being bad. Fuck, I call him Julius. Damn it, I'm getting my games confused. Telling... Jesus. Um... Uh, <laughs> I to check. Telling Jesus that he's being dumb didn't stop Machias from punching him. <laughs> no, does it? So, holding him back is probably the better option. At least as far as I saw, I think. Whatever. Eeny, meeny, miny, start. This way we shall go for our. I don't know. <laughs> Made more sense in my head, old man. Now, do 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 I know this looks like the wrong way. But the chest and stuff weren't having. I'm telling you, it's gonna be so short. Actually, I should run now. It's gonna be so short-lived when the AI gets ludicrously strong in like 20 seconds. Always explore everywhere. If you've learned nothing from me, this is the one thing you need to. Oh, a treasure chest. Ooh, evade one. Evade is really good. Break stuff. Yeah, the the rules one number one and two of the dark dictionary to cold steel. Check everywhere, kill every. Okay, maybe it's one, two, three. Check everywhere, kill everything. Unless you're tons of position, unless you're a high level, and break everything inside. Those those two tied together. Break everything and kill everything tied together. But you get the gist. About the easy thing. Um, because I've got a lot of these on like one, two, three. So, what I might do between parts later on is in, get all the skills that I used before, but I'll use the lower tiers of them. So, for instance, I'll use shield one in, when I used to use shield three and stuff like that. And I'll upgrade it as we go through the story. That way, it doesn't break the difficulty. Because right now, we're already ludicrously strong due to the fact that it's New Game Plus. Uh, but we're on hard, so it should tie in quick enough. Uh, hey, are we... Looks like we are. That definitely seems to be the exit. I can see the sunlight streaming in, so I'm guessing we're finally clear. Ugh, this was a complete waste of time. Pointless busy work at best. 
Considering the school's esteemed founder, I was expecting more of a challenge. But nothing here posed even a modest threat. Did we even fight the same enemies? I feel like I've been stretched to my limits. What was all that business about Class 7 anyway? Good question. We've got people here from different backgrounds, classes, and even cultures. Is there some sort of secret agenda with this whole Class 7 thing that we just don't know yet? What's that? There! The statue? What the heck is that? A gargoyle come to life? What sorcery is this? Ah! Are monsters like this common in the Empire? Not outside of old wives' tales, they aren't. Ah. This thing's cutting off our only route to the surface. No choice. We have to fight it. Right. Finally, an opponent worthy of my skill. Hideos, help us. Watch out. This is a tough one. Uh... Here we go! I thought you'd already say... Uh oh Wait, seriously? You're shitting me, but... Oh, fuck. Uh... That was it. It's a, despite the fact that this is doing a plus and I keep rubbing that in, I honestly remember like 5% of this at best. I remember the combat and I remember that crafts are awesome. But nada else. So no plot stuff. This can be spoiled. I don't know. It's been like two years. Anyway, let's go. Very well. The sad thing is this is meant to be hard. Uh, no. I got to do something that's weak. Go. Activate. Use art. My turn! Be weak, damn it. <laughs> I have to nerf myself. <laughs> Go! Damn it, Julius, you're too strong! <laughs> too strong! Ah, oh, fuck it, right? Go, we're gonna get to the hard part quickly. Don't mean to be this strong, it just sort of happens. <laughs> Sorry! Oh, I healed! Good, do that more often. Keep healing, keep healing. <laughs> Here we go. You know what? No, that's bad. Uh, leaf car. There. Eat this. Well, that almost worked. I'll handle and this. And eat this. We're only gonna use traps at like tier one. Anything higher than Leave that, you're not got it yet. Here go. Despite me having them, I'm not meant to, so I'm not using right. them. Go. We almost got it. Read, finish My it. Turn. Yeah. That's what we'll do. Because this is like the first chapter, we'll only use the it's still alive, like the first or second tier R's. Nothing else. Like crap, That's you know that. what I mean? Let's keep moving. We won't use anything that's like really, really, really strong or cost really, really, really like lost. Because you're not meant to have them yet. We'll just use the first two crafts that each character gets till the next chapter. Or something along those lines, you know what I mean? It's like I did with a um, Mega Dimension, not Mega Dimension, like I did with Hyper Dimension 2. Is that I limit myself to make it more challenging. Therefore, makes it more interesting for you all to watch. And you're here for the story anyway, so it makes no difference. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> story is good though. Why do you love the story? Well, that should be the end of it. No, it's down, but not out. Ah. That's one hell of a second wind. I can appreciate a certain degree of tenacity, but this thing needs to just die. It's no use. We're too spent to go another round with it. Guess I have no choice. I'll have Stand back! You made it! 
<laughs> You've certainly got some good timing. Oh, seems like you're all okay, at least. I'm sorry we took so long. You're here, and that's what counts. So, a gargoyle, is it? I didn't expect to find the Dark Ages alive and well down here. It doesn't seem like it'll go down easily. Indeed. It's brushing us off as though we barely even scratched it. But with this many of us, if we can just find an opening? Fine. I guess I'll help out. Looks like you started the party without me. You? Releasing Limiter. Take this! Break shot! An opening! Go! I think that's the end of it. At the very least, that creature doesn't seem like he'll be coming back for a rematch anytime soon. What happened there anyway? Right at the end of the battle... Now that you mention it, I did feel something wash over me for just a second there. It was like each of us were engulfed in some faint blue light. What? I did notice something as we fought. Perhaps it was just the blur of combat but I felt like I could see everyone's movements in precise detail. I don't think it was just your imagination. Agreed. I have a feeling what we just experienced was... The biggest selling point of the almighty Arcus? Give this man a prize! Uh. Looks like friendship and teamwork saved the day once again. I'm so proud of you guys! Anyway, that about finishes up today's special orienteering exercise. Aw, what's with the long faces? I thought you'd all be happy! What, what are we supposed to be happy about? I have so many questions, I'm not even sure where to start. Oh? I'll take a stab at it. What exactly is the purpose behind this Class 7? I mean, we get that it's supposed to be some sort of melting pot that includes a broad cross-section of people. But why were the nine of us chosen in particular? Hmm, that is a valid question. There's no single monolithic reason why you all made the list. But if I had to name a major contributing factor, it'd be those Arcus ornaments you've got there. How so? Well, like I explained earlier, the Arcus units are developed jointly by the Epstein Foundation and the Reinford Company. Like any battle ornament, they let you use arts, and these have communication functionality built right in. But their crowning feature is what's known as combat linking. That's the phenomenon you all experienced just now. So that's what that was. Seems like a pretty apt term. It did feel like we were all connected somehow. Precisely. Doesn't take a genius to imagine how much of an advantage a feature like that would be on a real battlefield. An elite unit that can sense each other's movements, acting in perfect sync even in the most chaotic conditions. You can hardly put a price on that! It could bring about a revolution in the way wars are fought. Hmm. It does sound rather... Idealistic. Well, yeah, the technology has its limits. Some have a natural aptitude for it, others just... don't. And out of this year's fresh batch of bright-eyed students, the nine of you turned out to have the highest aptitude. 
And since aptitude trumps background in class seven, well, here you are. I see. But what gives us this aptitude, though, as compared to our peers? It just seems so random. What indeed? As promised, if any of you have objections to being in this class, speak now or forever hold your peace. I think that pretty much covers the hows and whys of your situation. But this program isn't cheap to run, so we're not about to force anyone into it if they don't want to be here. You should also be aware that Class 7's curriculum will be tougher than any other class's coursework. Just fair warning. So now you know. And that leaves you all with an important decision to make. Will you stick with Class 7 or not? Oh, if you opt out, you'll just be placed in the class you would have been assigned to otherwise. There's no pressure. Nobles will land in class one or two, commoners in three, four, or five. It's still just the first day, so there's no real catching up you'd have to do. I'm sure you'd fit in just fine. I'll do it. Whatever class seven has to throw at me, I'm game. What? Just like that? So you're the first, then. You seem pretty sure about it. Any particular reason? Not really. I just feel like I've put my family out asking them to send me to this school. So, if it gives me more to show for my time here, I'll take whatever opportunities come my way. Hmm. A noble sentiment. Count me in as well. The greater the challenge, the more I can push myself to excel. One can't hone a blade without grit, after all. Let's make it three. Considering how far I came to attend this school, it'd be silly to back down before I even started. Well, looks like we've got the country's strongest freshman on board, and our foreign exchange student, too. Any more takers? Allow me to take part as well. I was only able to come because of the school's generosity, so I feel it's my duty to help in any way I can. S sign me up too! I kind of feel like fate brought us here for a reason, you know? And you all seem pretty easy to get along with. And that's a yes from our two Orbal staff testers. Though I feel compelled to remind you, your weapons are still in the prototype stage, so on top of your other work, I'll be expecting reports from both of you. Uh, of course. <sighs> Maybe I spoke too soon. Let me join too. Huh? Oh, there's a surprise. I was almost certain your rebellious streak would see you opt out just on general principle. It does bother me that you've got us using these Arcus units that are still pretty clearly in development. But, if I let every little nitpick like that hold me back, I'd never amount to much. <laughs> Words to live by right there. And that brings us to an even six. Now, what about you, Fee? Don't really care either way. You can choose. Not this time. This is one call you're gonna have to make for yourself. That was the deal, remember? You need to take control of your own life. Fine, I'm in. Well, at least you committed. We've got a magnificent seven now. Which leaves just the two of you. <coughs> I can see you got issues with each other, but that doesn't mean you can't at least try to work together. Why, if you just look past your differences and embrace the joys of youth, I'm sure you'll become the best of friends. Like hell we will! The exploitation of the common people by the aristocracy is a blight on every facet of Erebonian life! Unless something is done about it, this country has no future! I appreciate your candor, but I don't think you're going to achieve much by lecturing me about it. Well, at least that makes this simple. 
I, Yusus Alborea, claim my place as a member of Class 7. Huh? Wh why You're the son of a duke! Just the thought of being in the same class as commoners should make you sick! I'll thank you not to tell me how I'm supposed to feel. As far as the House of Alborea is concerned, there's little difference between other nobles and commoners. Besides, this should at least ensure I won't have fools flitting about every day trying to win my favor. <laughs> that said, I have little interest in getting drawn into your petty arguments on a daily basis either. I think it would be prudent for us to go our separate ways. I'm certain we can at least agree on this, no? I don't need some pompous ass who coasts through life on his father's coattails telling me what to do. I'm in! Come hell or high water! You might have had your successes spoon-fed to you up to now, but no outmoded class system is going to hand you trophies anymore. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> They're going to be like this pretty much all year, aren't they? Sure seems that way. I wouldn't bet on them ever seeing eye to eye. Oh. <laughs> the pots shouldn't be too hard on the kettles. Give a guy a break. Well, how about that? Nine out of nine! With that, I'd like to congratulate all of you on being the first ever Class 7. I hope you keep those high spirits all here. Because with the workload we've got planned for you, you'll need it. Well, well, I wasn't expecting Class 7 to turn out quite as diverse as this. It certainly promises to be an interesting year. <laughs> took the words right out of my mouth. But perhaps this too is the divine providence of the goddess, no? How do you mean? Seeing them there, I feel they have the potential to be the light we seek. A light that can break through the storm clouds that continue to build over our nation day by day. Yo le 